it's not like I was some great court reporter or anything. I, I think, though, maybe, maybe if I if I try to parse it now, I was always really suckered by both sides. I'd be covering a trial, and I'd be like, well, that sounds reasonable, you know, and then like, the defense <laughs> would get on and be like, well, right, he didn't, do- that's right. I like, I believed everyone. Like, there's shades of truth in here that are a lot subtler than we generally acknowledge in this system, and that was always the part that was interesting to me. Were, were you sick of newspapers? Was, was there a fed-up moment? No. I mean, I feel like, yes, I was fed up, but I... I, I, I was just, I was a bad fit. I mean, the stuff that was interesting to me was never quite what was interesting to my editors. So give me an example of that. What? Oh, it's so... Um, I just remember there was a time I had been covering this thing where the, the courthouse itself, the building, was basically sort of... Um, infested is the wrong word when you're talking about pigeons, but, like, there were just a ton of pigeons everywhere... And what would happen is, like, they would die and just, like, their carcasses would be rotting on the little balconies outside people's windows. Like, it was disgusting. And it, and people were starting to, like, people were worried that it was, like, a health problem. People were getting, like, bronchial problems and getting weird infections. And I remember that they had a press conference in front of the courthouse. And there was a poster. Like, someone had, like, pinned up a poster on the podium. And it said, cancer, cancer, cancer. And I just found that really funny. Just, like, the theater of how government works and and how press conferences are just like the inherent phoniness of them and the inherent theater of it and like i just remember really enjoying all of that and that kind of coming out in the story and just like all of it cut cut slash slash like take it out take it out take it out which is proper right like that nobody cares i don't know the truth is i heard this american life on the radio one day and was just like what is that I had never heard anything about like that. And I was like, that's what I want to do. That is what I want to do. 